Hello, I'm David Gordon and welcome to The Voice of Reason. Today we're going to look at uh, one of my uh, favorite topics, one of the most interesting things I've come across in a while. Chances are you recognize this object here, uh, or not, uh, actually, because it's looking a little different today. Let's take a closer look. Do you recognize that? Well, obviously it's a planet of some kind, and although it may uh, look familiar in some ways, certainly in other ways not. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. How about... Now... Doesn't that look a little bit more familiar? Yes, in fact, that very colorful object was our moon. What I've done is uh, amplified the color in a new photograph. These are photographs taken by a uh, researcher who had set up his own uh, system and uh, of a telescope and so forth in the backyard, but a very sophisticated one to you and I, but still uh, only consumer grade. And he proceeded to take photographs of the moon. Well, he took them in color and uh, well, uh, that might seem like a no-brainer to your eye. It's actually never been done before. And then I took these photographs stitched them together and created this high resolution color image of the moon we thought we were so familiar with. Look at these scatterings of what appear to be <laughs> glowing objects, let's say. Uh, these are theoretically craters that are lit up by the sun. Um, and um, you may be wondering what would these look like originally. Let's bring uh, the black and white image back over again. And so that's why they've never been seen before. Apparently NASA somehow forgot to take a long color film on those expeditions to the moon, the Apollo missions. Um, and they overexposed the crap out of it. Now the moon's very shiny. It turns out it's made out of essentially a glass particle-like stuff. So, hey, looking at it at night, of course it's reflecting like crazy. As we, as we uh, move around the moon here a bit, Zoom out again. They might be thinking, oh, somebody took this, or me, took this moon photograph and colorized it. Now, in a little bit, I'll go through the exact process of how this was made colored. But I want to show you the details involved here. You see how these lines of color propagate perfectly along the lines of texture? Um, how each and every item, like this uh, crater here, uh, is perfectly done. You would have to come in here, and I'm a Photoshop master and I could do this, but you would have to come in here and make sure that the green only lined up into here and you'd have to come then spray lightly lightly this little line of white uh, blue so adding the color to this which aligns perfectly with the uh, bright and dark characteristics of these objects that would be impossible I mean, if I had to handle this area, say, uh, the size of the screen right now, I I'd give it a solid day to get that even close to right. Yeah. 
Illuminate your world with Luminora. Luminora is an advanced color spectrum light source. As a meditational aid, it enhances focus and awareness on your chakra, body, and energy work. Nothing else provides this visible manifestation of color which centers your intention. Light up a room, light up your life, illuminate your world with Luminora. Visit Luminora.com The colorizations in this image align perfectly with the geographical features. Now to get into Photoshop and do this again, it'd be a massive project. I certainly didn't do it. <laughs> I could, but you know, look at the perfection here. This is a uh, particular crater, well known. This is Aristarchus. It's glowing like crazy. Now, to suggest that the moon, essentially something no more interesting than a pile of concrete is absolutely absurd. We would be told this is a simply highlighted crater um, by the sun. And interestingly, let's look at that idea. Where is the directionality of the sun in this shot? It's dead on from space out there get on flat to it. Now, that's an interesting thing because where does all the shadowing and so forth come from? What is this vast dark area here? These are the mares of the moon, they're called the, the seas of the moon. And then within them are the, are the meteor hits. Again, there's Aristarchus. Now, let's travel over here. See my favorite spot on the newly known moon and that's this gold area and you can see here something that looks ever so like a bubble and look at this one let's go in here now if you were to take a spot and put a glass dome over it it would look exactly like that it would light up around this internal perimeter again the source of light is directly on top or maybe judging by this what appears to be a highlight maybe it's a little off to the side but I believe it's essentially dead on um, so that looks like a little biodome to me and zoom in a little more you see the pixels start to break up it's the uh, indicates the resolution, but you'll see uh, a remarkable bit of uh, variation within it. It's a tiny, tiny one. Here's the thing, whatever they are, these shiny little crater dots are all over. Now why is that shining? What's that? <laughs> and again, back to our gold mining area here. I mean, there's only one thing that's that color on Earth. <laughs> and again, this is the moon. This is the true color of the moon. If you were to photograph a soccer ball in the bright sunlight, it would be so bright that you would hardly see the black squares on it. Stopping down the camera or taking the aperture within it and making it smaller, speeding up the time of the exposure, and shorter exposure, will re-expose this soccer ball uh, properly. So um, what was white would become darker because again, the white soccer ball in the bright sunlight is totally reflecting the sunlight off of it into your eyes and it's dazzling. Does the same to a camera. And the moon does that same thing to cameras because it's so bright. But if you reset the camera or put on a pair of sunglasses and cause the overbright exposure to reset to proper parameters, what you then get is a moon that is properly exposed. That's what we have here. 
properly exposed photograph, a properly exposed moon. Now, this was done after the fact in Photoshop. And when I come back, we'll look at exactly how that was done. Illuminate your world with Luminora. Luminora is an advanced color spectrum light source. As a meditational aid, it enhances focus and awareness on your chakra, body, and energy work. Nothing else provides this visible manifestation of color which centers your intention. Light up a room. Light up your life. Illuminate your world with Luminora. Visit Luminora.com